Burn, baby, burn. I am kind of worried about somebody falling over the edge here. They don't seem to be shooting through here, through our fortifications, because that's what these are. The top of all of our um, dark towers are our fortification windows that we can shoot through. Get out of here, you ambushers. We got nothing for you. There's the... Is that the other injured raccoon? If he was injured, he's healed. I think that's the smart raccoon. The dumb one ended up getting killed out there, finally. Well, we're going to let them run around and run amok out there, kill any merchants that show up. I'll come back if they end up actually shooting one of the dwarves. Provided that dwarf don't die, they'll end up in the hospital. So, it's 26 timber late autumn, and we are surrounded, but still safe. And Flame of Dark is working on an artifact. He doesn't need anything, does he? I must have rock. I must have rock bars. I must have silk cloth. Um, I better build another mason's workshop because I don't have any, any rock bars. So I'll try to get Flame of Dark what he wants, and if I don't, then we'll also come back whenever he goes insane. harpy that has decided to land on the roof and somebody threw a fireball. I think it was that dwarf there, Pasakoi 2. And there's more harpies on the roof. So we'll call the military up here. And just station them right there. And they'll go to combat whenever they can. Who's fighting? The harpy is fighting. The stray cougar scratches the harpy, tearing it. I think that the harpies might be getting beat down pretty hardcore. Yugi man, you're a little bit hurt. Right upper arm, right shoulder. Looks like you've got a broken shoulder. Harpy is unconscious and tired there. This harpy's not doing... Or that harpy has full health, and so does this one. Nil, the war dog, is getting shaken and torn apart in the harpy's beat. Pile on! Don't let the harpy fly away! The harpy is down on the ground, unconscious and overexerted. I think it was WC Gaming jumped up and pulled it down before it could fly away. And we'll tell them they don't have to station themselves anymore. Well, who's fighting now? Well, the harpy's still in the middle there. Or it was. So, killed three harpies. We still have the ambushers outside, just standing around. No one with a bow has managed to step up and take pot shots at them yet, though I have tried placing uh, some of the military up here trying to make them shoot through the fortifications. It didn't work. So, they're sitting out there at 7th Moonstone early winter, and we're still just digging away down in the caverns. Flame of Dark has created Orthoramaz, a Galena Coffer. Let's take a better look at that. The Erased Depth. Valued at 37,200 dwarf bucks, and all crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with Galena and encircled with bands of Galena. This object is adorned with hanging rings of cave spider silk. On the item is an image of a Seguero, Seguaro, and Galena. On the item is an image of Id, the deity of Earth depicted as a male shroom dwarf and three dwarves in billion. ID is laboring. Um, Id is surrounded by the three dwarves. I think I pronounced his name like three different ways there. Oh well. Not too bad. And yeah, they're still killing each other outside. Hurry up and kill all the merchants out there, you ambushing bastards. Kill them and leave. You're never going to be able to get to us. They're scattered around, running out there. A group of them ran into the group of merchants over here earlier. This massive group of merchants, and they got slaughtered. 
Uh, but the merchants are taking a beating. And they're losing a few. He just passed out, probably from blood loss. And they don't have a hospital out there. But I cannot, I can't open the gate. I cannot build ramps and let them in. Who was killed? The buzzard, I think. They killed my buzzard, those assholes. Z Hall 2, you just got taken by a mood. We'll see what you do. Still not really doing anything around the fort, just the occasional ambush outside that is killing the traitors. Well, then invent us something, Z Hall. You claim the jeweler's workshop, and we'll see what you make. Uh, a little bit going on down in the caverns, I guess. We do have the smelting room, and I'm also going to have. I guess wood furnace down here for now. That way I can just make quick charcoal and quick ore. Turn ore into bars and Z Hall already begins a mysterious construction. But here's the road, this is the path. And I'm digging down, down, down. Ooh, yep. Still got plenty of floors to go though, so they'll get around to it. I have it scheduled to go all the way down to floor 71. So, I'm pretty sure we'll hit the second cavern by then. I would hope so. Otherwise, that is a lot of a lot of space in between. What's in there? Maybe all just ores and rocks? Maybe more caverns I'd have to dig through? Don't know. We'll see what Z-Hall makes, though. Hopefully it's something worthwhile. We just had an ambush outside on another poor merchant, and Z Hall 2 finished a banded agate armor stand called Betten Thick Ucked. Let's get a better look at that. It's called Calm Brooks the Tinder Ball. A banded armor. a banded agate armor stand. Only 4,800 dwarf bucks. This is the banded agate armor stand. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with banded agate. Well, Keep trying, Z Hall. You'll make an artifact worthy of praise someday. Uh, the goblins are up above killing our cats as the cats bring their prey to the to the refuse pile. Help us, goblins! Help us with our kitty problem. My butcher shops aren't working. I'm being overran. Big dogs are up there. Those merchants have taken out several groups of ambushers. I'm surprised they're still around. Uh, looks like that Nord's finally going to give in, though, and get ate by these beak dogs. He's not giving up yet, though. He's still chasing after that one. However, he's too slow, I think. Too weak, too wounded, too distracted. Not distracted enough to kill the beak dog that was sneaking up behind him. But he doesn't notice the goblins that just came over the hillside. He turns to face him. Where's your buddy at? He's still down there. He charges head first. Doesn't even hesitate. Dives between the orcs. And the goblin pikemen, orcs, whatever they are, take him down. I guess that's the last of that merchant group. I don't see any more over there. We'll have to wait for the next merchants to show up and take out these ambushers. Quit distracting my people. Quit dancing on the roofs and go down and do some work. Well, <laughs> one single migrant has arrived up here. It's 12th slate mid-spring, and... I honestly don't even know if this guy is, is worth the hassle, if we should even get him or not. He's a planter, he's adequate, apparently he's um, done a little bit of hunting. He's got armor usage fighter, biter, dodger, grower, metal crafter, comedian, and observer. Should we bring him into the base? Should we risk it? A casual worshipper of Nagalak. She is quick to tire and weak. 42 years old. Um, question on, I don't really see anything redeeming here. A moss dwarf. It is said that moss dwarfs can live anywhere. Well, it's not totally true. They can be good settlers in savage areas. 
They do not catch diseases as easily as other dwarves, and their flesh heals at a lightning speed. Well... I just don't know if I can get all of my dwarves to stay down inside. Let me try to set this up. Um, I need to set up a burrow. And make sure that none of the dwarves leave it. I guess I'll set this up. I'm gonna set the entire buildings up as burrows. That way the dwarves don't try to run outside. They just stay inside. I think that this is how this works. And set it up on all of their levels. Because otherwise they won't have access to certain things. Because so I'm going to assign every single dwarf to this one burrow. It's going to be like our ultra burrow. For do not go to the top of the world. Do not go top side. Stay in the buildings and stay... Stay down here. Just put a huge burrow down here. Uh, again, I don't think this is how this is supposed to be used. I think it's supposed to be set up with things a little bit more specific than this. I don't need anything in those tunnels. I don't need anything there. But we'll set this up as a burrow, too. And let's add citizens to the burrow. I guess add everyone to the borough, the primary city here. Everyone can go here all the time. Even Rakust, the new guy, the planter. But, since he's up there, I also want to add just a little bit of burrow to right there. Because I want to build something there. I want to build a ramp. And I need to make it out of something I know I've got access to. So, Diorite block. And hopefully someone will go there, build the ramp using stone we have access to, on a location that I said they can have access to. Which is um, why I added that little burrow slice there. You don't need to connect your burrows um, to have your dwarves run between them. They are smart enough to know that they can go between without having, having you say so. So who do we got here? Pasakoi 2 is grabbing the block and running out there to build. And if I didn't place that ramp in the burrow, no one would have even worked on it because that, it has to be in the burrow, I guess, to be handed out to, on the jobs list. I'm not very good at explaining it. I hope you get the gist of it. So come on down, new dwarf, wherever you are. We'll see if he makes his way here. Either he'll show up or um, we'll get a couple goblin buddies to show up and Assault us whenever I'm not prepared for it. Come on down, Rakust. Is that him up there? No. I guess I'll look for him on here. There he is. The planter. No job. Zoom to him. You better hurry up and get down inside the base, you dwarf out there. Come on. Do I need to set a meeting area or something? I don't have one of those. Here. This is a meeting area right there. Now move. I don't want to have to seal you out there. I'm more worried actually that some of our other dwarfs are going get, to get a mind to run out there and try to grab something. Okay, well, I'll give him just a little bit more time, and then I'm removing that ramp. I don't have an airlock system built up, unfortunately. Collect webs interrupted by giant rat, and more rats down there. So far, I've just ran into giant rats and giant moles from the underground. My biggest fear is still lost adventurers. Here he comes, finally. Recust, you jerk. Um, we want to, since he's on the way, remove construction and tear down that ramp. Recust dives down into the pit. If you go back up there, forget it. You can stay. Remove construction. So he's removing his own ramp. He's more than welcome to stay here. And I think that he's going to be one of the people we sent off earlier for repairs. We'll say that this is... 
let's see.